Thank you all for attending. My name is Josh Evans, the Director of Communications and Marketing for uh, Prodigal Hockey. We'll go ahead and, uh, and get started. We're going to uh, expect this to last about 20 minutes. We'll have a few speakers here on my right and my left. And then after we do that, we will break off into uh, one-on-ones. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce the owner and CEO of Prodigal Hockey and Prodigal LLC, Bob Brown Jr. So, you know, this was a very long process for us. Uh, naming a team is not the easiest thing in the world, especially when you don't want to make any mistakes and you want to get it right the first time. So and that's why we're here today. Uh, it's been a long process, a good process, and you know, I never realized how hard it was to keep a secret in Oklahoma City. Uh, it's such a, such a, a big city and such a small town at the same time sometimes. So. Uh, but hopefully, we've had a little bit of fun with the process. After all, sports uh, is business while you want to take it seriously. Hopefully, you get to have a little fun with it at the same time, and hopefully, we achieve that. So we can't try to come up with a, a mark and a logo and a name that was the fitting of Oklahoma City. And uh, you know, I hope, uh, I think we've, we've gotten some good in, input from both our partners and, and people here at SMG uh, and, and some of the city to, to give us what we think is a, a good representation of Oklahoma City. So really, without uh, you know, further ado, I want to introduce you to your Oklahoma City's new hockey team. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Oklahoma City Barons. <laughs> Is the 
the best uh, I've ever seen. The, their, their integrity, their uh, similarities between Oklahoma City values and, and the Evans values, the similarities are, are, are very, it's uncanny, honestly. Uh, I've, I've really grown to, to really enjoy the relationship and the partnership that we've got and that we have with Edmonton, and it'll be very important uh, going into the future. So having, having said all that, I wanted to uh, bring a couple of other people for uh, with remarks. Um, Jim Couch, if you wouldn't mind uh, coming out and, and making a few remarks. On behalf of the city of Oklahoma City and Mayor Mick Cornett, I'm just thrilled to be here today. I couldn't be any more pleased with the new team name and colors. But what I'm most pleased about is, one, that we're able to bring back hockey to Oklahoma City at the AHL level, which I think we'll all be very, very pleased with. And I'm also very, very pleased with the professionalism of the organizations we have with us today, with the Edmonton Oilers, Prodigy Hockey. I'm just convinced it's going to be a successful team for the long term for Oklahoma City. And I think the brand's great. I was kind of hoping for the halo. I can bring up uh, Kevin Lowe. Uh, make a few remarks uh, with our, our partnership with Edmonton. Thanks, Bob. Uh, my name is Kevin Lowe, and I'm president of the hockey operations for the Edmonton Oilers. I, uh, I've been uh, a member of the Edmonton Oilers for uh, about 32 years, as long as the, the Edmonton Oilers have been in the National Hockey League. Uh, although I did play for four years with the New York Rangers, but I was still an Oiler at heart. Um, it's indeed a, a real pleasure and a treat to be here today. I want to thank uh, the city of Oklahoma. City, I guess you can call it that. Is it? That's a little bit of a, uh, it's like the city of Edmonton. Can you say the city of Oklahoma City? Excellent. <laughs> I really want to thank them and all their efforts in terms of uh, helping the funks uh, pull this whole uh, um, relationship together. We've been looking for a number of years to find the perfect city for our American Hockey League uh, affiliation. And uh, we looked long and hard, and lo and behold, we were able to come across uh, uh, Bob and his dad and their great love for hockey. And lo and behold, it's in a, a wonderful city, and as Bob alluded to, a city that's very similar to Edmonton. The, the comparisons, uh, I have to say, other than the weather, uh, are, are, are amazing, as Bob said, and canny. Uh, the people are wonderful, they're warm, they have a great appreciation for sport. Conversely, the athletes that come and play in this city and, and our city really feel uh, accepted and feel a big part of the community, and that, that translates into, um, into a great relationship and also translate, translates into great things uh, on and off the ice or on and off the court as, as you're experiencing with the Thunder. Um, uh, for the Edmonton Oilers, this is a new beginning. We've had a couple of troubling years and it's given us a great um, opportunity to reflect and to analyze and, our, and we have a new owner, Daryl Cates, uh, who not unlike the Funks is really committed to the city of Edmonton and committed to bringing a championship back to Edmonton. And it's uh, it really it's uh, I don't want to I don't want to think that uh, I'm a clairvoyant or, or anything, but I, when I did start with the Oilers in, in 1979, they won a championship, first championship in five years, and and I really do believe that the similarities where our organization is today uh, is uh, quite similar to where it was back in 1979. Uh, we have we have a new template. We have uh, all the resources we need. We want our team in Oklahoma City to be successful because we, we know if they're successful here, they'll be successful in Edmonton. And more importantly, as an ambassador of Edmonton, I just I, I, I really hope that our fans can come down here and, and experience the warm hospitality of Oklahoma City. So uh, without further ado, I see a lot of uh, young kids here, and I know the great thing about about uh, uh, naming of new sports teams is that it's the coolest thing to get the logo firsthand. So uh, I'm sure they're excited. I see an oiler cap here. I'm a little disappointed to see the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs>